Start Your Own Corporation by Garrett Sutton. The book Start Your Own Corporation by Garrett Sutton is a book from Rich Dad Advisor series. The author Garrett Sutton is a corporate attorney and an asset protection expert with more than 30 years of experience. He has also written four more books as a Rich Dad Advisor. In Start Your Own Corporation, Mr. Sutton teaches you how to protect your family assets from attacks of creditors by selecting the best entity for your personal strategy. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you find it useful. We thank you kindly. We will also leave an Amazon link for the book in the description below for your convenience. In running any business, there are risks, known and unknown. To protect yourself from such risks, you need to limit your liability by establishing a corporation or other good entity. A good entity is one that shields and protects your personal assets from business risk. A bad entity is one that provides you no protection whatsoever. Bad Entities Sole proprietorships and general partnerships are bad entities. You put your personal assets at risk and are personally responsible for every bad thing that can happen in your business. With a general partnership, you have double or triple or more depending on the number of general partners you have, the exposure of a sole proprietorship. Good Entities Good entities are structures that are truly separate legal beings. They are C-Corporation, S-Corporations, Limited Liability Companies or LLCs, and Limited Partnerships, LPs. Each one has its own advantages and specific uses. Let's have a closer look at each of the good entities. Corporations. They have evolved over the last 500 years to be the most commonly used entity to conduct business. Very important when utilizing corporations, corporate formalities must be followed. This includes holding regularly scheduled meetings, conducting banking through a separate corporate bank account, filing a separate tax return, and filing corporate papers with the state on a timely basis. Failure to follow such formalities may cause piercing the corporate veil, a legal maneuver in which the creditor tries to establish that the corporation failed to operate as a separate and distinct entity. Then the individuals involved are held personally liable. One disadvantage of utilizing a C-corporation, earnings may be taxed twice, once on the profit and again on the dividend paid to the shareholders. The S-corporation avoids the double taxation, however, is suitable only for small businesses due to some limitations. It can only have 100 or fewer shareholders, and they must be individuals. Corporations, LLCs, and partnerships cannot be shareholders. S-corporations may only have one class of stock. You can consider starting with an S-corporation and convert to a C-corporation at a later date after you have taken advantage of the flowing through losses. Flow through taxation means that profits and losses of the entity flow through to the business owner's tax return and are dealt with at an individual level. Limited Liability Companies, or LLCs LLC were created to provide the advantages of S-corporations without the limitations to the shareholders. They, however, do not feature the same transferability and liquidity of corporate shares. In an LLC, like a corporation, the owners do not face personal liability for business debts or legal claims made against the company. It's important to note that you may become personally liable for certain debts of the company if you sign a personal guarantee. As an example, most landlords will require owners of a new business to personally guarantee that the lease payments will be made. LLCs offer two very flexible and workable means of management. They can be managed by all of their members, as will be the case in a small growing company, or they can be managed by just one of their members, or even an outside person. Limited Partnerships, or LP. A limited partnership has two types of partners. A general partner, who is managing the business and is personally liable, and limited partners, whose liability is limited to their contribution of capital to the partnership, but may not be actively involved in the business. To isolate the unlimited liability of the general partner, a corporation or an LLC can be formed to serve as a general partner of a limited partnership, thus making it a good entity. The limited partnership provides a great deal of flexibility. 
A written partnership agreement can be drafted to tailor the business and family planning requirements of any situation. LPs is a good entity for transfers of family assets from one generation to the next. Now, let's distill the key likes and dislikes about corporations and LLCs. LPs are similar to LLCs. C corporations. No limits on shareholders and classes of stock. The best entity for going public. Maximum fringe benefits allowed. Free transferability of stock. Double taxation on profits. Once at the corporate level and next at the shareholder level. Fixed allocation of profits and less flexible management structure. S corporations. Efficient tax treatment. The best entity for minimizing payroll taxes. Must apply for flow through tax treatment. Limits on shareholders and classes of stock. Taxed allocation of profits and less flexible management structure. LLCs. Flow through of business debt. Flexible allocation of profits. Flexible management structure. Difficulty of minimizing payroll taxes. Less free transferability of interests than corporate stock. When forming an entity, first thing to consider is the purpose to operate a business or to hold assets. As a general guideline, it is best to separate assets in LLCs, each holding one property. There is no one right answer to fit all cases. Be sure to work with your advisors and come up with the right entity mix. And also consider using the best states for asset protection. Nevada and Wyoming offer amazing legal and tax benefits for using entities formed there. Owning a company offers a few other advantages besides liability protection. The book covers the topics of corporate debt, business tax deductions, and insurance. They are all presented with a real-life case and in an understandable language so anybody can get a bit more familiar with the topic before delving deeper into it. For more details about tax deduction, please check out our summary of Tom Wheelwright's book, Tax-Free Wealth, which is another jewel from the Rich Dad Advisor series. Thank you for watching, and if you find this video helpful, please share it with us in the comment section below. We appreciate your feedback. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite book. Can't get enough of reading? Find us on Facebook at facebook.com readandgrow1, and also on Twitter at twitter.com readandgrow1.